Admiral Tuvok and Captain Kim are leading the analysis of the artifact you found on Vardwar Prime. I knew you'd want to be there for the great reveal, so I've arranged for you and your crew to be part of the team. Rendezvous with Voyager to get started. Welcome back to Voyager. We were about to begin studying the device you recovered from Gaul's communication center. Since you have spearheaded much of our efforts here, I would like you to take the lead once again. Captain Kim and Seven of Nine are at your disposal. Talk with them if you need more help deciphering the device. When you finish your analysis, return to me for further orders. I will be here in the transport room to see you off. Glad you're here. We transported the device to engineering here so we could run all the scans and tests we could think of. The first thing we need to do is determine how it's communicating. We can't find any normal transmissions from it, but we're hoping you have some new ideas to bring to the table. The device communicates with subspace. We should have guessed that. Now comes the hard part. We need to access the device's memory core. The engineering team here on Voyager is good, and I've heard your team is top notch, but it might take more time than we have for either team to make a full analysis. We should have both teams give you their opinions on the device. If we work together, hopefully we can make a breakthrough. You'll need to set switches on the device until we get solid readings. We'll be able to tell if switches are in the correct position 
but not which switches. Good luck. The engineering teams tell me two of the switches are in the correct mode. Unfortunate. Sir, I've consulted with both the engineers here on Voyager and your chief engineer. I am seeing green across the board. All the switches are in the correct position, and we now have access to the primary memory core of the device. Unfortunately, we're only halfway there. Now we need to access the secondary memory core to get full access to the data we need. The engineering teams tell me two of the switches are in the crew. Looks like you did it again. All the switches are in the correct position, and we now have full access to the memory core of the device. Seven of nine should be of assistance in accessing the memory banks of that device. She's in astrometrics, attempting to get a fix on the location of who, what, is receiving these transmissions. Access to the data banks of the device. Very efficient work. From the data we have received so far, we will be able to pinpoint the exact transmission coordinates. However, it is possible that doing so may alert whomever is on the other end that we have reverse engineered their technology. There are three likely ways to get at the information. I suggest further analysis to determine the best course of action. Fascinating. Excellent work. With this location we may be able to finally reveal who gave the Vaudoir their advanced technology, and why the neural parasites appeared again in this time and place. Commander Jarok of the Romulan Republic has requested to join you on this operation. Her own analysis of the device has shown that the Romulans have had some contact with the creators of this device, a race known as the Elachi. She will meet you in subspace at the given coordinates. Finally, Voyager's emergency medical hologram, the Doctor, will be assigned to your crew. His knowledge of the Delta Quadrant races may prove invaluable. He's not much of a combatant, but should prove useful. Hello again.
Commander Jirak of the RRW Lisette. When we learned that the Alachi were involved, I requested to shadow you on this mission. I know your experience with the Alachi is limited. The Romulan Republic, however, has an extensive history with this race. The Tal Shiar used Alachi to help invade Viranat, a colony made up of Romulan refugees seeking to make a new life for themselves. The two factions worked together to convince Romulan colonies to join the Tal Shiar. It was in spite of this that the Romulan Republic was forged. We fought off the Tal Shiar and eventually made a stand against the Alachi and New Romulus. Many Romulans gave their lives in defense of our new homeworld. But that final defense seemed to quiet Elagi attacks for quite some time, barring the occasional incursion from subspace. All right, we'll follow your lead here. ship is here to defend the outpost. <laughs>
I was thinking we should split up and cover as much of the facility as we can, unless you have a better idea. This is obviously an Alachi facility. What I know about them comes from the Romulan Republic's databases, but I should be able to learn more as we examine this location. The air here is suitable for the Alachi, which means that you may find breathing difficult. I, of course, do not have that problem. If you have an environmental suit, or even some sort of rebreather, you will be fine. If you don't, keep an eye out for something that could help filter out the toxins. Good. You found the breathing apparatus. That should take care of that nasty cough. using the Iconian Gateway on New Romulus. The Solonate kidnap victims through subspace for their brutal experiments. If they are somehow connected to the Alachi and the Vodwar, this is beginning to make more sense. If I had to guess, there must be a stasis room nearby. We should find it and rescue anyone in there who can still be saved. Several individuals here who have only just begun the conversion process. We can save them if we beam them back to your ship.
We're transporting you to a Romulan ship. You're going to be fine. Ah, a Hazari. Stay calm. We'll get you the medical attention you need. This is no way for a proud Klingon warrior to go out. We'll catch him up immediately. Transport the Stalaxian directly to Sigbay. A Kazon? Even the Borvold is similar to Kazon. You'll be back on duty before you know it. Want to be mine? Everything will be fine, Mr. Trey. We'll beam you directly to see. Well, the Solani are definitely involved. I believe I have everything I need from this area. We need to keep moving if we hope to meet up with Commander Jarok. The door is unlocked now. We should keep going. Did you know that several Starfleet officers were infected by these in the mid-2360s? The Enterprise logs from that era are fascinating reading, if you ever have a few dozen hours to spare. If Gahal and the infected Vodwa were communicating with this station, it stands to reason that this may be the facility where the Blue Hill Implantation takes place. We should definitely investigate further. If we can find the Implantation Room, then I should be able to analyze their equipment and gather more information. 
I don't believe it. The empirical evidence is right in front of me, but I'm actually having difficulty processing this information. This tech, this whole facility, it's Iconian. There are variations on the norm, of course, because of the Solene and Alachi influence, but I see distinct signs of their presence throughout the facility. The Iconians, as we know them, rarely reveal themselves. The only known interaction with an Iconian in modern history took place on Kronos, when... Wait, you were there! I don't need to explain that situation again. As I was saying, the Iconians don't like to act directly. They use servitor races, like the Alachi and the Solene, to cause chaos in their name. And the neural parasites, they've bioengineered. Rather like the Founders created the Gem Hadar, but sophisticated enough to control another species, and with much less free will, the parasites are a weapon. When Voyager revived the Vodwar, their technology was outdated compared to what other powers in the Delta Quadrant had at that time. Even the Kazan outdid them. But now, Vodwar technology is cutting edge. The only way they could have advanced so far, so fast, was by aligning themselves with someone else. With the Iconians. The Vodwar got their tech upgrades from them, but they also got the neural parasites. The parasites gave the Vodwar power, but they gave the Iconians control. They were ultimately the ones pulling the strings. This entire war has been against an enemy we didn't even see. This is more like a factory than a laboratory. Some of this technology is ancient, but it's quite advanced. These parasites aren't a natural species at all. They look... engineered.
catching up with the escapees, and they might be from the Alpha Quadrant. We found a dead Romulan in prisoner garb. He was part of the breakout, and I don't know if he was part of the Republic, or loyal to the Tal Shiar. Keep an eye out. The prisoners are headed in your direction. Maybe we should avoid any potential contact with the prisoner? I think I've seen enough combat for today. showing up when you're least expected. Find a way off this station alone. Almost... Stand. It will be justice for all the lives you've destroyed. And if you do, you'll never learn about the Iconians. I've been here for months. I've seen enough to know you need my help. Fine. You interrogate her. I might get a little carried away. But she returns with me to the Lisette when you're finished here. Sila is a prisoner of the Romulan Republic. Your government can go through official channels if they want to talk to her. 
You and this Sela person seem to have some history. I'll leave you to speak to. Not so fast. You have the weapons, but I have the information. If you want to learn what I know, you'll need to keep those Romulan rebels under control. You've stumbled into something much greater than you're prepared to handle. I'm the best ally you have. I assume you already know where you are. Both the Alachi and the Solene serve the Iconians. The Alachi are their warriors, and the Solene are their scientists. They're the ones who created those creatures implanted into the Vaudoir. Hakiv joined the Iconians out of faith. He thought the Iconians would create an empire he could rule. That did not go as planned. This time the Iconians wanted to control their puppets. When the Vaudoir asked for strength to defeat their enemies, the Iconians gave them the parasites. The Vaudoir had strength, but also strings. Strings that have now been cut. I'm sure you had something to do with that. All three of you working together? The world has changed in my absence. Or were the Vaudoir that much of a threat to the Alpha Quadrant? That explains some things. I'd love an escort back to the world at large. But I have a feeling you have some questions first. I'll answer what I can. You can believe what you want. How important is that, really? I worked with the Iconians because, at the time, I thought it was the best thing for my people. After we lost the homeworld, we were scattered, starving. A shadow of what we once were. What were we supposed to do? Beg the Federation? Or the Klingons for scraps? Pathetic! The so-called Romulan Republic has made their way. But they did it at the cost of Romulan dignity. We are not refugees. We are Romulan. We needed a strong leader to find us together again, and I knew I could be that leader. The Iconians were a means to an end. They gave us strength at a time when we were at our weakest. But I know what Hakiv, what he and the Iconians did to our world. Perhaps I would not have made the same decision. Dwelling on the past is meaningless. I am here, and so are you. Today, our goals are aligned. We both want to stop the Iconian advance. You need me. I'll answer what I can. You can believe what you want. Hubris. The Iconians think they are the rulers of the galaxy. They thought so 200,000 years ago, when they were driven off their homeworld by the fire of a thousand races allied against them. They think so now, when they look at us and see us as children stumbling in the dark. They do not see our strength, our willingness to fight. Use their hubris against them and the Iconians will fall. I'll answer what I can. You can believe what you want. I honestly don't know. Why would they share their plans with a prisoner? That may make me less valuable in your eyes, but don't be fooled. I know more about the Iconians' operations than they realize. I'll answer what I can. You can believe what you want. Ah, the crew. The Alachi took them one by one and turned them into those... things. Revolting. If I had known that was what they were doing with the captives from the colonies, I would have... Yes, you were asking about the crew. A handful of us were still alive when the station went on alert. We took a chance and made our escape. They died, nobly, as Romulans protecting their empress. I will remember their sacrifice. Will I be taken into your custody? Or will I be left at Tiaru's tender mercies? Very well. It's not like I have a choice in the matter, do I? She was 
taken by the Iconians last year. Many of my people thought she would get away with her heinous crimes against the galaxy. With her in my brig, I am happy to know that is no longer a possibility. Of course, I understand that the Romulan Republic's claim on her is not unique. Her crimes are against all of the Alpha Quadrant. To that end, I will ensure that she be made available to all the Alliance leaders for interrogation and debriefing. Well, that wasn't exactly what I call a walk in the park. At least we know exactly how the Iconians were controlling the Vod War. And you've certainly put a crimp in their plans. On the upside, as a photonic life form, I'm immune to any attempts at subversion by neural parasites. I'll see to the care of the captives we rescue. In the meantime, it sounds like you and the Romulan Republic Command have a lot to talk about. Sela certainly has a story to tell, but should we believe all of it? I'll put a bug in Admiral Janeway's ear about the situation. That was a joke, by the way. You're going to be busy. Don't overdo- Oh, who am I kidding? Command officers never take their doctor's advice. Just remember that you're not in this alone. Good luck. I suspect things are starting to get interesting. Sela and the Iconians? That I did not expect. It's a lot to take in, and while I'm sure the former Empress has some interesting stories to tell, I know the Romulan Republic will want her to answer for her crimes against her people. There will be some tricky back-channel negotiations before this all shakes out. I'll keep you posted as much as I can.